Ole Miss hasn't won in this rivalry since 2001, but maybe the Rebels are catching LSU at the right time. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you on the Geico SEC Game of the Week preview here on CBSSports.com. It is LSU 18th in the nation hosting Ole Miss in Houston. Now let's bring in Spencer Tillman to break it all down. And uh, Spence, yeah, LSU had its biggest comeback in school history last week, uh, coming back from a 31-3 deficit, but that was to Troy. Shouldn't get down to 31-3 to Troy. What's the carryover effect of that to this week? Well, that's what we'll find out uh, this week. And I, I think the problem, though, is you've had two weeks in between your, your epic loss to Florida to kind of recover from that and, again, to allow a Sun Belt team to come in your place and play you that way. I mean, and you're down nearly 30 points in the first half. That's really inexcusable. Um, again, I know you got a young quarterback, you've got some young position players, but at the end of the day, LSU, the defending national champion, should, should have more respect at their place to allow a Troy team to come in there and handle them the way that they did. Again, you got to give credit to a couple of people. Jared Lee, their young quarterback, did come back and finish strong. And Gary Croton, the offensive coordinator, actually protected him a great deal in that game by his play selection. All you got to do is look at the number of times they threw to Brandon LaFell, and that's 12 times. I mean, you can't continue to throw to one guy that many times, Jason, and uh, not have some help from your coordinator with formations and mixing things up. So they really dodged a bullet big time. Well, they absolutely did against the Sun Belt team, but uh, Ole Miss, they beat down a Sun Belt team 59 yeah. nothing last week against <laughs> our buddy Tim Brando's alma mater Louisiana Monroe right. uh, they got right. bowl eligible by doing so and now they're coming in with all this momentum what are you expecting out of Houston Nut squad oh by the way he knows how to beat LSU did it last year in three overtime while at Arkansas Absolutely right. And he also knows how to beat Florida, something that this LSU team certainly wasn't able to do this year. I think what you're going to find in this Ole Miss team is a very confident team coming in. Yes, buoyed by that Florida victory many weeks ago, but since that time, Jevin C., their quarterback, has gotten a lot more efficient under center throwing less interceptions and more touchdown passes. Their offense is finally caught up with their defense, and that's going to be problematic because I think if they can play as effectively as they have been the last couple of weeks this coming weekend, uh, listen, this is not Troy. This Ole Miss team is for real. They can beat you. So, LSU, I'm actually on upset alert on this one. I'm not going to tell you what my outcome is until you ask me, but uh, LSU needs to be really concerned about this game. Well, let me give you a reason why you should be on upset alert, and you hit on it earlier. It's Jarrett Lee. It's the young quarterback yeah. who has had seven interceptions returned for touchdowns this week. Yeah. And Ole Miss on defense, Spence, their strength is up front. So that means Jevin, or excuse me, Jarrett Lee is going to have to beat you in this game. That could be a problem. Yes, it could. And, and I think what it also underscores, and it's great that you pointed it out, they've got to play with the lead as the LSU Tigers. If they don't, they're going to be forced to throw more times, putting them in those situations where they're likely to get uh, pick six again. They cannot afford to do that. You've got to play with the lead when you have a young quarterback. And we all know that at the end of the day, Les Miles is a small ball specialist. He wants to be a little bit more conservative. And the fact that he has a young quarterback, he's inclined to do that even more. Gary Croton, the offensive coordinator, wound a little bit more tightly, wants to open it up, but he understands what he has on his hand. He's He's got to protect Jarrett Lee. So who knows what they wind up doing at the end of the day. I can tell you they cannot play from behind and expect to win against Ole Miss. Uh, Spence, we really haven't seen Jordan Jefferson, their true freshman at LSU quarterback, yeah. on, on CBS. He played a little bit last week against yeah. Troy, uh, a couple of important minutes. A any chance we get a, to see him in extended minutes this weekend? Well, I think you're going to see him kind of like a reliever come in, uh, maybe not to close things out necessarily depending on what the game situation is but he did as you said had his most extensive work last week I think he carried the ball like six or seven times actually led him on a scoring drive down there and actually played uh, some a couple of different positions in that the uh, wild formation that they have so I think that he is he is going to get some playing time Les Miles did tell me that earlier this week but to the extent that uh, it will be what it was last week is really contingent upon if they're playing from behind or with the lead Jason all right well you said you're on upset alert give me your winner I'm going with the upset alert, and I'm going with Ole Miss in this one. I think they have every confidence coming into this ball game, and I think LSU has a quarterback that's a liability for them right now. He's not capable of winning games by himself. He's going to need to do that because this, this defense that he's about to face is aggressive, they're fast, and they can create turnovers, and that's going to be an issue for the Tigers. And Spence, the winner of this game, gets second place in the SEC West and most likely a trip to the Cotton Bowl. So that would be a huge, huge jump for Ole, uh, Ole Miss this season under Houston. Now, thank you very much, sir. We'll see you on CBS on Saturday. All right, Jason. We'll see you, buddy. And don't forget, folks, it's the SEC on CBS, which also means it's SEC Live on CBSSports.com. This game, number 18 LSU hosting Ole Miss, the game that Spencer thinks is an upset. You can see it on CBSSports.com. Again, kickoff at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.